Hi there, it's Mark here from Mark My Words. On this channel, we do our darndest to help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you've had a setback in life, uh, you found the right place. This is the right channel for you. S consider subscribing to it because we focus here on helping you fast track your comeback. In fact, I am convinced that you can fast track a comeback if you've had a setback you can rebuild it bigger, better, brighter than it was prior to your setback. Even though some things will never be the same again, you can rebuild. And it won't take you as long the second time round, or even the third time round, is it as it did the first or second time, or more if that's the case. So today's video is all around how to uh, equip yourself for seasons of uncertainty. Now, it's really important to understand this because when you've gone through a severe life setback, I remember vividly after you know, my divorce and business collapse, uh, staring down the barrel of bankruptcy. Uh, my kids had been taken off me and living in a small two bedroom cottage on my parents' farm because that's all I could afford. And thinking to myself, where am I going? What am I doing with my life? Up at 42 years of age, after having built a family, built a business, built a career, and had a relatively, uh, you know, a platform of success. You might, others might look at it and thought, well, you know, he's doing okay. Having all that taken away now, navigating uncertainty. And today, more so than ever, there is uncertainty in our lives, not just internally when you're overcoming a setback, but also externally with what's happening in the world. So it's a double whammy effect of personal internal uncertainty and global uncertainty. Regardless, there is a way through it. There's always a way through it. There's always a way over it. There's always a, a way under it or around it. If you know what you want, and I want to encourage you right now to understand that the basics of universal principles that work don't change in seasons of uncertainty or in seasons of clarity. Regardless of what season you're facing into, the principles don't change. The principles work regardless. And one of those key principles in, is knowing what you want. And even though you might be going through a really tough, heartbreaking time right now, I want to encourage you to spend some time with a pen and a notepad writing down what you want to happen uh, and making sure that you're very clear about that. One of the things I wrote down was I wanted to find a job. <laughs> okay, so I didn't have a job when I was going through my setback. My business had collapsed. My business had gone and went up in smoke with the global financial crisis. So now I've got all these debts and no income and I need to get a job, partly because I wanted to get out and get back into the uh, marketplace to add some value to overcome my own self because I was overthinking a lot of things being by myself and, and being relatively, um, you know, in a season of, not, season of not working. It was really hard to manage that, you know, going from a very busy, active life to all of a sudden having everything taken away and the quietness and the stillness of, uh, absolutely, um, you know, there was nothing happening in my world professionally or personally. It was a really quiet and desperate time. So I had to write down, you know, get a notepad and a pen and write down what I wanted. And I wrote down, get a job, right? Um, because I, you know, I had no money to get back into business. So I thought I'll get, get back and get a job just to be able to get some stability financially. So I did that, wrote that down and get a job. When I wrote it down, I visualized what that would be would look like and I looked at my I did took, took stock of my own skill set and thought well where can I add value where can I add value and I want to encourage you to ask yourself the question where can you add value what are your skill sets what do you do well what are you naturally gifted at what have you got experience in that you could look and go you know what where could I add value because you'll find that when you find that place where you can add value it will help you fast track your personal healing because so much of uh, your confidence, my confidence, came from adding value to others around me. And I found that in, I was offered a job actually in, in, in the banking sector and uh, ended up wanting to do it for a year or two, ended up doing that for 10 years. Now, uh, I loved every minute of it, but you know, I knew deep down I was going to do something else with my life. I didn't want to spend the rest of my working life working for a bank. So what do you want to do? What is it that you feel you can add value in what area, in what either professionally, in a, look around you, you know, have a look and say, <clears throat> you know, um, what businesses are out there that I believe I can add value? 
right? And then if you're looking to expand your income circle to help you get back on track financially, you'd be thinking about where can I add value and how can I articulate that to that business in a simple, powerful way where they feel like they need you more than you need them, okay? But if you're just out there looking for a job because you need money or you need job security or you need whatever you need, employers don't care about that. All they know, all they want to know is if they're going to take you on as a, as a partner or an employee, what value can you add to this business? And is it worth them paying you an amount, whatever that might be, to add hopefully more value than it costs them to have you there? So be thinking about that. Be thinking of how you can add value, right? Because when you're in the marketplace adding value, it helps you fast track your own personal healing recovery. It gives you confidence back. It helps you with your confidence. It doesn't come back all at once, but it will come back. The other area is, so number two is, whatever you've lost, you know, start to write down what it, what it is you, you want back. And for me, I wanted to get my children back. So I wrote that down, kids back living with me. Uh, now, at the time, they weren't. But eventually, I knew that uh, if I continued to create an atmosphere which was positive, uplifting, and encouraging in the times when I did have them, they would get to an age sooner or later. And when I, you know, my, my world went up in smoke, they were 14, 13, and 11, right? So they were a fragile age. But I knew that if I could just keep, create an atmosphere when they were with me that they wanted to be a part of authentically, then ultimately they would want to come and hang around it more as they got old enough to make their own choices. And that's exactly what happened. So make sure that you write down what you want. And if children are a part of it, write down that on paper. You know, so by I wrote down, I will have my children back in with me living this time next year. So I put a date on it, right, whatever the date was then that time, I wrote that down. And that was the second thing I wrote down on paper. The third thing I wrote down was <laughs> I wanted to get debt free. I wanted to pay off my debts because I had a lot of residual debt hanging around from you know, my business collapse. So I started to come up with a plan of how I could do that. I could you know, com- combine all these debts into one bundle and then pay them off you know, aggressively. Rapid debt reduction was my strategy. I had to get back to zero. So where I, when I say zero, well, I had to get my head back, back up, um, above water financially. At the moment, my head was, when I, when, I, when I had that collapse, my head was underwater. In other words, I owed more than I owned. So I wanted to make sure that I got debt free and started with a clean slate at 42 or three years of age, I think I was at the time. So I could then start to create wealth again. And so these days, you know, having your own home paid for and cars and no credit card debt and just living in a position of strength financially, it's all a result of hard work, focusing on what you want, writing it down and committing to it and really being intentional around those three basic key areas, whatever they might be for you, to help you stay focused on it. And what what happens is when you stay focused on it, the opportunities to make these things become a reality that you want to happen in your life, all of a sudden the opportunities turn up. They will. Pro- I promise you, if you focus on what you want, the opportunities to the opportunities to make it happen will turn up, because what you think about, you bring about. It's funny how some people call it the universe. I, I, I tend to think it's more an answer to a prayer, and whatever you meditate on and think about, basically, it turns up in your life sooner or later, positive or negative. You know, and I wanted to make sure that. Um, that what I was thinking about is what I wanted to happen, not what I didn't want to happen. So, so much of this is, is rebuilding, for me, it was rebuilding me. And understanding that in a season of uncertainty, there are principles that work, and they're eternal principles. And you know what you think about, you bring about. What you focus on will come to pass, positive or negative. Writing down goals, writing down three or four things that you really want to have happen, that are urgent, almost urgent things that you want to have happen bad, right? And then just by simply writing them down and focusing on those three key things every day and taking small steps each day in whatever areas of life you need to take those steps to make those become a reality, I guarantee they'll eventually come to pass for you. But so much of it is up here, okay? Hey, I know you can do it. Uncertainty defines, doesn't doesn't make or break you, it defines you. 
you know it really helps um helps galvanize what we really believe and and it, it you know when you conquer uncertainty and when you conquer a season because that's all it is is a season when you conquer that it's it's amazing how that helps fast track your growth uh in all areas of your life personally physically f mentally spiritually financially in every area and uh, i want to encourage you to hang in there and look you know w what are you doing right now to help you fast track your growth what are you finding working if you've got some ideas leave them in the comments comment section below i'll be keen to you know to look at those because at the end of the day it's about you know knowing what works and you'll find that things that do work are basic things that work for anyone providing you're disciplined enough to actually make them work for you you do the work and they will work for you you know and so much of it is a choice it's a choice of what you focus on it's a choice of what you allow to occupy your mind it's a choice of uh, being really intentional around what it is you want to happen and and making sure those are the dominant thoughts in your head and chase out the things that you don't want to happen because it's so easy when you're going through a tough time to focus on what you don't want to happen and the negative things that potentially can happen to us or at us or for us you know it's a matter now of really focusing on what you do want to happen and if you like this video check out the links I have in the descriptions panel below one of those links is to my 10 breakthrough steps these are 10 breakthrough steps that I applied to my life to help me fast track my comeback and I know they'll help you fast track yours as well click on the link I will ask you for your email address and I'll be able to email those straight into your inbox 10 breakthrough steps you can apply those to your life and I know they'll help you and there's some other links there as well one to my webinar have a look at that I've got a free webinar there as well as some just give you some value around how to fast track your comeback I've also got a course at the end of that webinar you'll see if you want to connect with me on a deeper level I've got a extensive course uh, 22 hours of video 27 action steps six chapters 37 sections it's an extensive course where i take you right through the journey of rebuilding after a financial and relationship setback it's extensive and only for only if you're serious about rebuilding would you click on that because it is a commitment it is um a focus required from you and but i but i know that it, for anyone who applies the principles of that course that they will be able to and get through it and focus on it and discipline themselves to get through the course you will fast track your comeback i promise you that so thank you for joining me today until next time i'll see you on the next video